Section 44 of the Australian Constitution addresses the disqualification for candidates to sit in either the House of Representatives or the Senate. The AAC conducts elections based on the Commonwealth Electoral Act. These electoral laws do not provide the AEC with the power to disqualify candidates based on the Section 44 of the Constitution. It's also worth considering the practicalities of, of such a check. Currently, there is no comprehensive data source that would allow a timely or accurate check. And if you look at the election timetable itself, it would make it virtually impossible. You've got candidate nomination deadline happening one day, the very next day, candidates are declared and then it's straight on to printing the ballot papers so that we can commence early voting according to the election timetable. Once a candidate completes the nomination process, including filling out the mandatory checklist, the AEC then must accept that candidate's nomination and their name will appear on the ballot paper. Once the ballot paper is printed, it's valid, as are all the candidates listed on that ballot paper and it's up to the voter to make sure that they fulfil that ballot paper according to the instructions. If a candidate is elected and there is a question around their eligibility under Section 44 of the Constitution, it is only the Court of Disputed Returns after the election that can look into this matter. Authorised by the Electoral Commissioner, Canberra.